Hey guys, uh, in today's video we're going to be putting that uh, intake manifold on the Dodge. So, um, in the last one we built this uh, lower intake plenum for it and uh, today we're going to put it on. So I'm really excited to be able to drive this truck finally. First thing we got to do is drain the coolant and because I don't have the rad quite yet, my rad leaks. Um, I stuffed some stuff in there to stop it, but I've got the, a good rad on my parts truck, so um, I think I'll be grabbing a couple of these and uh, drain all the coolant out of it. I'll just run water until I can get that other rad in. So I think these three should be sufficient. Okay guys, so once uh, while the coolant is draining, I'm going to pull the belt off and Start removing accessories off the front because we need to get uh, some bolts that are right at the front. it out of the way now we can see what we're dealing with um, water pump is there it would be a good idea to do that but I didn't have enough fundage at the time um, I definitely need a new tensioner um, as you guys seen I had to put the wrench on it to retension it um, so now I guess should should have enough coolant drained out uh, we'll pull these two bolts take this off um, unhook this heater line and then there are 12 bolts holding the, uh, the intake on. But anyways, yeah, I got all the electrical disconnected off this side. I gotta go along this side, disconnect that, pull the throttle body, and pull my rails. Fantastic. The thermostat was stuck to the bottom of the, uh, the thermostat housing when I lifted it off. Um, it kept all the coolant in there, so that's just what came off of the hose. That was pretty neat. This one's just done too. Wow, yeah. Major leak. Oh wow. Yeah. Holy cow. 
So, oh, another spot. Yeah, this this one was the the major cause. Oh, and it started to push out there too. Just junk. That one broke off. Yeah, three three broken bolts. I got to freaking deal with. This is gonna be fun. Try not to knock any of this crap into the motor. Well, it looks like it's pretty clean so far. Not bad. Didn't knock too much in. <laughs> Well guys, I'm on my way to the parts store. I've got to find some bolts and I need to find that heater hose. Hopefully, uh, hopefully somebody's got it. It is Sunday and there's only one, one store that's open. So, we'll have to see. Well guys, as you can see, and now I can see because I'm blocking the sunlight off the viewfinder. I uh, got that bolt out. And that bolt out. They, uh, I guess they were seized inside the intake, and once it was removed, I just grabbed them with a pair of uh, hose clamp pliers, I think I've seen them called, uh, basically channel locks, and uh, gave them a twist, and they were surprisingly loose, so they wound right out. Now, this guy, because it broke off right there um, is more than likely seized into the block or the head and not the manifold so I'm going to attempt to drill it out and then uh, see if I can thread a bolt or a, a screw into it and see if I can get it to turn one way or the other and uh, hopefully we'll have some success so I really need to get this truck done like today into it. My bit is dull. Let's see if I can sharpen this on my belt grinder. Maybe I'll grab a different uh, bit, see if I can find another small one. Alright guys, ran to the parts store again, grab some brake clean and some of the right stuff. This stuff is freaking awesome. I'm gonna clean up the, the corners of these so I can put a bead of silicone down and then uh, put the gaskets on. Gonna have to deal with that one bolt uh, at a later date. I have to get this truck done today. So, that part sucks. Holy crap. concerned about is uh, this part right here. It sticks out a hair but should should work. Oh cross your fingers guys. Cross your fingers. Well I'd say I was concerned for nothing. Yeah everything is freaking lined right up. Awesome. Well guys, so I uh, had to reuse this old freaking crap hose. Um, I couldn't, I can't get one until Tuesday, so. Um, anyways, yeah, we're just about ready to, what are we ready to do? Well, we'll put the rails on and then run the wires and then plug everything in. And then we can put the front uh, bracketry and stuff back on, so. Getting close. <laughs> Oh, I gotta tighten the sensors. I wasn't sure about the configuration of them. Um, the single pin connector goes on the outside, the dual pin connector goes in the center. And uh, another thing that you guys are gonna wanna note is which plugs you've got. 
this one's different so I had to use the one from this truck. Uh, when I convert over to OBD2, I'm going to be needing this one, so I'm going to keep everything. Alright guys, well, i got the motor all back together. Just thought I'd spare you the boring details. Um, it's exactly the opposite of taking it apart. <laughs> um, so when I go to drill out this hole, all I have to do is pull the AC compressor, the bolt straight through. Um, it's not going to take me any time to do that. Um, but I just got to top up the coolant, and by coolant I mean just add some water. And then uh, she'll be ready to fire up and we can see what she does. I want to see how this works. Might need a good run to burn off all the oil that's been dumping into the cylinders, but uh, we'll see. Sounds like I got an exhaust leak or uh, a vacuum leak. That was better now. Definitely an improvement over how it was. We'll take her for a rip around the block. Actually, I'll see if she'll uh, maybe try to torque up the wheels. Still not quite. Maybe she just needs a good rip. It doesn't seem to be running any better than it was. So I will have to figure that out, I guess. I was hoping to do a burnout with this thing today, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, she's really not. Still frustrating. I wonder if she'll uh, do a reverse. No power's out. 
Hmm. Oh well. And the next thing I guess. Won't be driving this thing quite yet. Hey guys. Well, um, I really don't know what's going on with that truck. I pulled the, the codes off it. Um, I've got two transmission codes, um, overdrive solenoid and torque converter clutch solenoid both failed because it's an OBD1 truck with uh, supposed to have the 46RH but it's got the 46RE and uh, the other codes are EVAP solenoid circuit, O2 sensor and EGR solenoid circuit but I can't see any of those making it run as rough as it did. Um, it's Monday now, I'm beat, uh, gotta go back to work tomorrow, but, um, kinda, I was just editing the video now, and, um, it does appear to have a vacuum leak, so I'm wondering if maybe there's something not sealing right between the throttle body and the intake, um, but I just don't have the energy to work on that today. Um, Hence me being downstairs, so, uh, I don't know, I just, I need this truck to work better, I got to, uh, put it to work here right away, so, uh, and my phone's going crazy, um, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm kind of stumped with it, I need to spend a little bit more time with it, I need to, uh, bring my vacuum gauge home and start checking for vacuum leaks, see if I've got a stable vacuum, if not, might have a broken valve spring. Um, I'm hoping the timing chain isn't stretched to crap because I don't have the money to fix that. Um, and I really don't want to pull that motor out of my parts truck, but I might have to do a motor swap. Um, Supposedly that truck was running fine when it was dropped off at the wreckers, but uh, I kind of disproved that with that damaged lower plenum gasket, so it wasn't running right. Um, yeah, I just, I, know, I need a little bit more time to work on it, but uh, I noticed I didn't make an outro for the video yesterday, so um, doing it now, so... Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like what you see, give a thumbs up. I'm um, really trying to make a video a week and uh, I'm going to keep on trying to do that as long as I can. So um, every time you guys like or comment, uh, it helps out. Um, share the video with your friends. Um, yeah, it, it helps out a lot. The more views I get on the videos, um, the more content I can make as a result. So. Um, thank you guys for your support, and uh, I guess until next time, take care guys.